Hi Class T, so it's our first time uh, where we're going to be pulling the eggs out of the cups to see what's happened to them in the last 24 hours. So I'm going to start, I've put them in order, so I've got water, milk, apple juice, orange juice and Diet Coke. They're pretty much in the order of that many of you put them in um, when you were making your prediction. So we'll have a see um, what changes, if any, there actually are to the eggs. So I'm going to start by getting the egg in the water out first. So really carefully making sure that I do not break the shell. And there we go. So as you can see, the egg that's been in the water isn't looking much different looking very much the same as it did yesterday. Now on to the egg that's been kept in the milk. So here we've got the egg that's been in the milk. As you can see, it is still looking very much as if its shell is well intact. Um, my question is, does it look like the egg's got darker? I'm not too sure. Maybe I have to have a think about that one. So here is the egg that has been in the apple juice. Now from this angle, you can see it does look a little bit different, maybe a little bit darker and some more speckled. But as I move it round, you can see a tiny little bit of damage where the spoon touched it and the shell sort of as if you look quite carefully has almost like started to um, peel away so i'll have to monitor this one to see what happens as the experiment continues here we've got the egg that's been in the orange juice as you can see, it's gone a little bit bubbly. I have tapped it with the um, towel, um, but it doesn't seem to be coming off. Obviously, I don't want to damage it. It does also seem to be a bit of damage at the bottom, which you should be focusing in on now to the actual eggshell. There certainly is something happening to this eggshell. And here we have the egg that has spent the night in the Diet Coke. We can certainly see that it started to develop um, what can only be described as freckles um, that are certainly quite dark brown. It's certainly got a much darker colour. It doesn't seem to be as damaged as much as the ones that are in the fruit juice. What was really interesting about a lot of your predictions are that you talked about the amount of sugar in the drinks and obviously being Diet Coke, this doesn't contain any sugar. But it is, in some ways, we do have to think about acid. And I've just got the ingredients here of Diet Coke. And it's worth noting that if you read through the ingredients, it does contain phosphoric acid and citric acid. So I wonder if the, over time they're going to make a difference to our egg. We'll just have to see what happens. So that concludes our look at our eggs for today. Certainly looks as though the fruit juices seem to be causing the most damage, perhaps followed by the um, Diet Coke then perhaps followed by the milk with the one in the water staying pretty much the same as it was. Don't forget to check back tomorrow to see how the experiment's going. Remember to keep safe and to keep washing those hands.